Hi and welcome back to Nerdy Gamers and we're carrying on the recording for XCOM. And where we last left off, we we're just about getting ready to go on the terror mission. So, let's go check things out. And there we were, the terror mission was all the way over here. It really helps if I could actually click it. No, no, I was clicking it, I was just being silly and didn't notice. Okay. So let's just check out our characters and let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, we're going with uh, two rocket tanks, we've got rifle at the ready, we've got an auto cannon, we've got a laser rifle, laser pistol uh, for the uh, auto cannon when it runs out, plenty of grenades all round. And, but who are we going to take? The only question is, is but what about this person? What is... What is their ability? Because we need to kind of just check out. We've got a fairly good firing accuracy, but is there anybody else we can dump? Ooh, X5 is not looking good at the moment. Okay, we're going to dump off X5 and replace them with X10. Okay, I think we are good to go. This is going to be somewhat nervous about this because this is one of the first terror missions that we've got, and I'm re and it's going to be sectoid. Sometimes it's floaters, which is annoying because I do want a sectoid mission because I want to try and capture a uh, sectoid leader, if at all possible. What time of the day? What time of the day? Ooh, it's gonna be a night mission. Yeah, we got a night mission. That is not gonna be fun. Okay, well, what we're gonna do, Hawkeye, being one of our top snipers, is gonna take the laser rifle. It's just, just needed. Now, Sergeant Red is going to take the auto cannon because if that's going to be shot, I want it to hit. So we're going to we're going to set him up with high explosives for the time being. We're actually going to dump most of these grenades out. Don't want him to have them. He'll keep get keep get him to keep. Prox grenade and some light and then that. Now we also need to have some light for each of these people. So we'll start putting them on on what I remember. You also want that laser pistol just in case it becomes necessary. So now we're gonna make sure everybody's got at least one light source. Aha, there we go. So, what we got? We got double smoke grenades, double of those. We also need to make sure we've dulled out the stun rods. Because they are going to be very handy. Oop, forgot to give out the stun rod. Now, guy with the heavy weapon is not going to take a uh, stun rod because that weapon is very very heavy so it might overload them I mean you can always come back and pick up additional stuff but it's a bit more what you can drop stuff to go through right and also it's because you won't know until you carry everything you won't know whether or not you're overweight or not right okay now let's just try and start off uh, Hawkeye is running a little overloaded what we can start to do get some immediate light out there's not a lot of weight but it'll help reduce it almost straight away and shoving that light down aha it is, it is sectoid so this is good hopefully we can start off with an immediate kill For the moment, I'm just going to wait here. 
I can't really see any... <coughs> Pardon, sorry about that. <coughs> I can't see any need to immediately jump out of the ship. Because it's just going to be a massive crossfire down there. And one of the things is with Terra Mission, it's unlikely you're going to save anyone. I mean, the thing is, the amount that you actually lose for not saving any of the civilians, hardly anything compared to the sheer amount of points you get from completing a terror mission. So, you can go to the lead vehicle. It can't see anything. Aha! Now, see, if we'd rolled out immediately, we would not have had enough. Um, he, this one, is a good chance is either a medic or the leader because leaders for some reason love sitting around in those little fields but he's too close and so I'm just gonna have to try and get rid of him so that's him out of the way and now I now need to move the tank out of the way they're also gonna count act as uh, rolling cover for my guys So, uh, when out in the open, I can hide everybody behind the tank and not have to worry too much. Now, things are already looking not too bad for us at the moment. Just a quick look over there. And then I think guarding that whole bunch over there. Okay, Sergeant Red. Let's see, we're going to try and get you out. Don't like the fact that you are sergeant out already, but needs must on a terror mission. There. And that's one of the reasons why I want to light out really quite quickly. Let's just try and see if we can finish him off that way. I don't really care if my people get the kills or not. What matters here at the moment is them trying to survive. That is going to be a hard enough task as it is. But even after we've blown up the alien over here, we really should need to throw in some light because you never know what else is going to be revealed or what was going to remain unseen. So, here we go. And you know what? I totally gave that weapon to the wrong person. And, drat, I accidentally made them sit down. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to move these people up. We're not going to take them out of the ship, because if we take them out of the ship, it just increases the chances of them dying. There is a slim chance that they could all be killed from there, from an alien grenade landing up on the slope. But it's a slim enough chance that I'm willing to take the risk because we've already got people down there so, and the aliens are less likely to try and charge up and do that with our guys in the vicinity and there you go, you see, just saw an alien grenade getting thrown out this is one of the things I was always worried about now fortunately it's probably going to be too far for it to actually have an effect so we'll just see what happens at the end of this well, uh, we're on the civilian stage so not too much longer there's still quite a few of them, and there's at least two. Now, fortunately, that was too far for them to actually have an effect on us. Might have killed a civilian, but don't really care about the civilians dying. They're not our concern. I know we're supposed to be down here to save the civilians, but they're just not worth enough points. We need to be mercenary here. We need to try and keep alive. So, what we're going to do is we know that there's at least one sectoid down in this area. So we're going to start advancing. Ah, now that's going to be a fairly easy shot for our tank, because you can just fire it off, and if we miss, it hits the back wall. But what we can do is if we advance one of our guys up here, yes, also can get a view of them. But what we're going to do is we're going to leave them on the opportunity fire. We'll actually, we'll see if we can grab another person and get them to stand nearby. Because the more people we can get to actually witness the kill... Oh 
dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Looks like they got problems of their own. Ah. Hmm. Can you target from here? I doubt it, because there's a wall in the way. Uh, 